Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be an SAS walkthrough. I am headed into the store for the semi-annual sale of summer 2023. And I... Uh, I thought my store opened at 10, but I think they're already open and it's like 9.50. So I'm just going to go ahead and walk in and we're going to see what they got. I'm looking for a lot of stuff. Um, I'm excited to smell the new fragrances that came out specifically for SAS and what price that they're priced at. So I just have a lot of fun things that I'm going to be doing in the store and I'm going to have so much fun. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and head inside. All right, so heading into the store, it was pretty packed, so I had to go around the store a couple times to get you guys footage, so I hope that you're okay with it, and it's a little bit shaky, but anyway, starting off at the first table, we have these throwback returning scents. We've got white tea and ginger, juniper breeze, which honestly, none of these really tickled my fancy, but if you guys love them, that's great because I feel like it's super nostalgic, and they definitely like reminded me of middle school, but um, not my favorites, so... But those were all $3.95, and then we have some $3.95 Poppy, some of the Tropical Collection, like Pink Pineapple Sunrise, that's one of my favorites. Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower, so much Poppy. And Watermelon Mojito, which that one's supposed to be really yummy. Of course, Plumeria, which I didn't show on the other side, but there's that one. I did find quite a few of these um, sand scrubs. They're not my favorite, but a really good deal at $3.95, so totally pick those up if you do like that formula. They're just a little too harsh for me. But then there is the Waikiki Beach Coconut um, Foam Lotion and the 20 SPF Lotion, which I think is really cool. At $3.95, that is such a good deal. And then on the 50% off table, we have some Pure Wonder Rose and... Um, this new collection, which is so cute. I think the packaging turned out adorable. So we've got Fruity Sherbert Scoop, and you can pause here for the notes. I can't read that small right now. <laughs> but yeah, Fruity Sherbert Scoop does definitely smelled amazing. Just smelled like your average fruity scent. And then Cotton Candy Clouds is back, which that one always smells amazing in my opinion. And then we've got the um, co Whipped Coconut Milkshake, which is like a coconutty vanilla. And then the 70s collection, which, oh, this packaging is so dreamy. I love it. So we have Golden Sunflower right here. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to pick up anything from this collection until it goes a little cheaper. I think 50% off is like, meh, oh well. Um, and then we have Groovy Watermelon, but I would pick that one up because if you guys like that one, it's going to go pretty quickly because everybody likes that one. Um, we had some Gingham Mist there. Disco Daydream, which is supposed to be like a coconutty vanilla. I don't know what Cali Days, that scent note, smells like, but I don't know. And then Rainbow Waves, which is back. It was last year's Pride Collection scent. And then hopping into some 75% off body care. So we have this collection, Saltwater Breeze, that came back in a few different formulas. I don't know what this one was called, but it's like an emerald like gemstone collection. We've got emerald mist here. Um, this one's a little too fresh for my... Um, my preference but if you guys like those totally get them and then ameth amethyst waves i think is the prettiest because i love a purple and gold combo on my lsu tiger so of course i love that and then we had a ton of moonlit path at this store um some hello beautiful and then some of this stuff left over from winter sas so Pearberry, sea island shore and brown sugar and fig which i was surprised to find that one because that was probably the most popular one um and then gingham in shower gel and lotion as well as the mist again and then some Christmas. This was the only Christmas that I saw in my store for body care, though. So bright Christmas morning, there was like two of them. And then Twisted Peppermint, some more Sea Island Shore, and just those things from SAS again. Um, again, more Hello Beautiful and more of this line from last year's um, semi-annual sale. And then on the backhand side, we had some 75% off candles. So very happy to find these. We've got Peppermint Sugar Cookie, Fa La La Latte, and Twas the Night Before Christmas. And then the only men's body care scent that I found was After Dark um, for 75% off. They did have some Cocoa Paradise little cleansing bars, and these are um, $8.95. So really good deal at around like two something or maybe $3. And then a couple formats of Sweet Pea. Now we're in the 50% off section. So we've got a ton of at the beach they must be like phasing out this packaging design because i just have seen that everywhere um and then we have gingham vibrant i found a rose perfume there was like four of them on my table so 24 dollars. that would be 12.25 each really good deal for a perfume 
Um, tons of gingham vibrant in every single formula. They're not keeping this one, so if you like it, I would say stock up. Um, I think that's the only one that they're not keeping from that new collection. So, And then they did have some gingham love and a lot of different formulas there too. And my favorite, vanilla mocha martini. I absolutely love that scent so much, but I already have backup, so I don't need it. Um, and then, of course, some more gingham love, shower gel, and things like that. I do think the... Um, body scrub is a good deal and it probably won't last that formula scrubs never really last um, in the 50 percent off section and then we have some men's in smooth amber clean slate and ocean the colognes were 50 percent off um, men's stuff will go to 75 percent off next week so i would say like hold out on that because it will go down but and then i wanted to show you guys all this stuff on the wall is not going to be on sale so that new like poolside collection not on sale. Firecracker Pop, not on sale yet. It might go on sale later. Coco Paradise was not on sale. Strawberry Pound Cake, Japanese Cherry Blossom, all the new ginghams, those were all not on sale. So if you see them in your store, you know, don't pick them up unless you want to pay full price. Um, yeah, just skip on those ones. And then we have some 50% off the wellness collections. We've got Clear Clarity, no, Create Clarity and orange ginger and then on the front side we had sandalwood and vanilla and the uh, simply unwind the sun collection which i thought the packaging on this was absolutely gorgeous it's orange flower um just really really beautiful packaging and then the sea soul refreshing collection which this one um has a lot of scent notes on there and then I did find the section of men's body care that nobody was paying any attention to. I don't think they realized it was on sale, but this section of men's body care is 50% off. Um, I feel like since nobody was touching it and it looked completely full, that it'll last until 75% off. So I'm going to wait, but there's a lot of fun um, scent combos in here for men, which most of the time they're not very unique. But I think my favorite was this bamboo and surf. It was very green kind of smelling it almost smelled like matcha kind of but with that like sea um sea breeze scent so i thought that was really cool and then mahogany coconut correct me if i'm wrong i've never seen this in body care before so that was also a pretty cool find and then there were some candle holders that were 60 percent off so this is one of them and this one was 24.95 so i thought that was pretty cute you just sit the candle on top um, and then we have some 595 single wicks, Lakeside Morning, Fiji White Sands, and Watermelon Lemonade, the Ice Dragon Fruit Tea, which I know a lot of people love that scent, and the Island Margarita, as well as some of those ones from the Tropical Collection too. So good deals on single wicks. And then we got the Blends Collection. So honestly, these none of these... <laughs> I don't like any of these. What the heck? These combos were so weird. Pineapple mango and fresh balsam. Just smelled like fresh balsam, honestly. But all of them were weird. Why did they do these weird combos? They could have done so much better, but okay. Marshmallow fireside and black cherry malo. No, that was not good. Watermelon lemonade and eucalyptus mint. Who puts eucalyptus in lemonade? Why would they do that? I don't know. I think our island margarita and villano bean was like the most simple one that was like okay but not anything special in my opinion and then rose water and ivy and mahogany teakwood that's like two super strong scents fighting to be on top so that just was not it for me and then we have this collection that came out for sas eucalyptus rain pink lemonade um, i believe cactus blossom is also in there and then i did find some ice lemon pound cake this uh, candle lid was so pretty and i mean this is a great scent i just don't need that and then of course pink peach blossom we've got some island margarita pink apple punch this um summer collection there and then down below we had these like i don't even know what to call them but they were definitely white barn candles but the pink lavender and espresso sea salt and neroli um, some palo santo mahogany coconut and then the um deep blue sea santorini coast is one of my favorites and this amazing collection i think they did so well with the packaging on here and fresh amalfi lemon was really yummy smelling and then we did have some more 1095 candles on the back here i just wanted to show you guys oh i skipped it there was some sprinkle candles i didn't even see that there was a pb and j ice cream at the very top i'm so sorry guys what the heck um and then paradise cove so this is why <laughs> i hate taking video because i look back at it and i find things that i didn't see in person oh that makes me so mad anyways 
Um, and then I did find some from the um, Valentine's Day collection, the Field Loved, what was that? The Champagne Cupcake, yeah. And then some of this floral collection that came out really early in the year, like January. So if you guys like those, great time to buy them. And some more tropicals down here and these beautiful, gorgeous lid candles. Spring Clementine smelled really good. Driftwood Waters. Um, I think there was like a floral, is it flower cart or something? Yeah. And then these 1095 candles that came out in like January, Champagne Toast, Fresh Cut Lilacs. In this weekend, I was surprised that they still had some of these left. I think it's just because they're like core scents besides the Blu-ray Marshmallow Bar. So that was a good find. And then some more 1095 that we've already seen. So no biggie there. So 350 uh, Wallflower Fragrance Refills. I found some really good scents here. I think these are just the standard ones that come out every year. Mahogany Teakwood, Laundry Day, Fresh Cut Lilacs, just all of your basic scents. So nothing super special here. Riviera Petals and the new um, Blends collections though, that's pretty good. But these are all great scents to pick up now while they're on sale and just save them for later on in the year when you know you're gonna use them. So Spa Day I think is a new scent. I have not smelled that before. And Fresh Bamboo sounds really awesome. I've also never smelled that one before. So that's that was pretty cool. There are some you know, unique scent combos in here. Um, Coconut Lime Breeze has been around forever. Some Cucumber Lemon and Sweet Pea, you know, just the classic scents over here. And um, some Laundry Room Lemon, I've never smelled that one before. I have to assume that it would be really yummy. So that one was a pretty cool find. Ice Dragon Fruit Tea, some Japanese Cherry Blossom, of course, some Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit and Country Apple, as well as some Market Peach. And then the Blends Collection Hand Soaps. I am interested in these, um, but I'm gonna have to wait. I think Kitchen Lemon and Honolulu Sun is my most favorite. Um, but I'm gonna wait until they're a little cheaper. I would rather pay like around $4 or, or, or less. Wait, if they're $7.50, then half off their um, $3.75. So actually not a bad deal, but I would still like to pay cheaper than that. So anyways, Fresh Rainfall and Sundress Linen does sound pretty good. And they had a ton of these um, gift set collections on sale, which I think is perfect. If you have people that you buy for a lot, so that was $38.95, by the way, if you couldn't see that. Um, if you have people that you buy for a lot or you have some kids in your family or you have some kids yourself, this is great to you know gift off for birthdays and things like that. So special occasions, graduation gifts, like this is awesome. So I love that they had all these gift sets on sale. They had some of these ones with the single wicks and the hand soaps, which everyone can use a single wick and a hand soap. So I thought that was a great deal, 50% off. You're not going to get much better on those um, gift sets. So it's such a good deal, like literally a steal. And the Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower was such beautiful packaging. I think it was just custom for that little package. And then I did find some Wallflower plugins, some really cute ones, some generic ones. Um, we had some turtles, so some cute stuff from the summertime, but that cloud would be cute all year round. Little seashell one, and I love that these all light up. And they're not even that expensive, so they'd be like $7.50 each because they're 50% off, so really good deal on these guys. And then I did also find some little bath bombs. Really cute. I don't remember seeing this one picked for you. I don't even know what's in. Oh, it says champagne toast. Perfect. Okay. And then I did also find the Easter one in tutti frutti candy. Yeah. Um, some more beachy stuff. This pink one's really cute. Good for year round. And it is a scent control one. I found a little Easter egg and some nice ones for year round. This little terrarium and this beautiful lantern. I love the lantern ones. And then little bunny left over from Easter, super cute. And then I did also find these little bags which are just adorable for kids and stuff. Okay guys, store number one is done. I'm gonna head to store number two, but I got a lot of stuff. This store though I noticed did not have any um, mini body care or a lot of pocket bags. They had a couple, which I didn't get to show you guys because there was a lot of people around that area, but yeah, they had a little bit of pocket bags, but I'm hoping the next store will have more mini body care because that's really what I'm trying to focus on, not full-size body care, but they had great candles at this store, so I'm not bad. It was definitely a good time, and it like ebbed and flowed with how busy it was. Um, I was in there for like 30 minutes just because 
I like to go around and shop and then I record for you guys and then I recorded for TikTok and then I took pictures. So yeah, it took me a long time, but let's go ahead and we will head to store number two. This one is where I went for the Halloween release last year and probably where I'll go for the Halloween release this year because it's kind of off the beaten path. Not a lot of people know about it and it's like not really in the busiest area. So we're gonna head to that one and hope that we can find some good stuff. Okay guys, store number two. I did not show like overlapping product in this store too. So we're just gonna get into the unique stuff right off the bat. So first off, we have 50% off. This store had a ton of the Wallflower fragrance refills. So we've got the newest Coco Paradise. So these would be around like $5 each. So pretty good deal. We've got Warm Ocean Breeze and then some of the um, Island Margaret, no, Waikiki Beach Coconut some eucalyptus mint stress relief somebody must have came in and bought all of those because that was the last one and then they had some candles strung in here too um i did not realize that this thanks for everything was actually a different scent it's sugared lemonade i thought it was just regular like champagne toast or something so those are fun nice gifts for um you know teachers or you know your sister or things like that like i think it's really a good idea some more strawberry pound cake, which is amazing. Some $7.95 on those eight ounce um, single wicks, which I don't care for any of those scents. So I didn't look at that, but we've got some more um, room sprays in mango Mai Tai. We got some interesting scents actually coming up in these um, holders in here. So we have some cinnamon spiced vanilla, some warm vanilla sugar, some strawberry pound cake, all great scents. And this one, marshmallow musk, I had to double take. I was like, wait a minute, marshmallow musk, okay. Good scents and dark amber and oud, so perfect. Um, and mahogany teakwood, perfect wallflower, or not wallflower, room spray scents. And then we had these 5.95 single wicks. This is deceiving. Strawberry daiquiri, pistachio ice cream, and the snow cone one are not on sale. I tried to buy the pistachio ice cream one, um, and it was ringing up full full price. And she was like, "Oh, sorry, they're like in season right now, so they're not on sale." I was like, "Okay, well then I don't want it because it's not cheap." But anyways. Um, some more of these single wicks, you guys, same stuff from the last store, but a little bit more, um, on the basic scents. So happy to find some of those and some more of the candle holders. And then I found this collection from, I believe like January in this weekend, fresh cut lilacs and sunshine and daffodils. So that was a good find. There was not a lot left of those. And then some more tropical ones, which just, you know, those are great, but I'm already like, <laughs> I've already ha I already have the tropical scents that I need. Um, this Gingham Gorgeous was definitely not meant to be there, but I just had to give it a sniff while I found it. And then this um, Sunset in Maui, which I thought was pretty cool, leftover from those um, destination candles. And then some more of the Valentine's Day candles too. This vanilla and peach tea one smells really good. And then I did find a mint chocolate chip milkshake and I found a rose water one, that same like collection, but um, somebody was actually interested in it behind me. So I handed it to her. So, um, and then I found some more of those um, summer collection candles. And then um, this was pretty cool. I just found these random lip masks sitting here. There's a blueberry one and a watermelon. They're not on sale because they're definitely brand new. I've never seen those before. So that was pretty cool. And then some more of these candles and the blends candles. So nothing special to see there. And then moving on to 50% off body care. So again, we had some Gingham Vibrant, some more of the body scrubs. We found some Pastel Skies, which I hadn't seen at the other store. And there was not a lot of it. Um, some more Vanilla Mocha Martinis, some Summer Melody Bar Soaps, um, some Fiji Sunshine, some At The Beach. Um, I did find this random men's black tie. That was a good find. And then at the beach body scrub, which I thought was also a really good find. This is 75% off body care leftover from last SAS. So ripped rose and vanilla, sun ripened raspberry, pink chiffon. We have again, the men's after dark and random moxie gummies. Like I think they're sleep gummies. So that was super odd. Um, warm vanilla sugar and the moisturizing body wash. And these two bins up front are all moisturizing body washes. So there's also Japanese cherry blossom and a thousand wishes. And then a random set of cozy evening. It was only shower gels, but there was like 15 of them. So that was cool. Some more pink chiffon, some more sun ripened raspberry and more sea island shore. And then some happy vibes over there and um, some more poppy, some fairy tale, fresh cut lilacs, twilight woods, the um, 
same collection from last time, Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. I found some Summer Melody um, lotion down there. That was a good find. And then this One in a Million Mist right here, as well as Country Apple for 75% off. So pretty good deals over there. Some more 75%, same stuff that we've been seeing a lot, a lot of Hello Beautiful. So if you like that one, get it now. It's at a really good price and a ton of Moonlit Path and like every formula. So really good deals there. And then again, we have the Aromatherapy and I found 395 Fresh Coconut and Cotton in Cloud9. This collection was at that store. Um, they had Indigo Dreams, but only in the Fine Fragrance Mist. There's some more Cloud9 in the lotion there. And there's the Fresh Jungle Rain, I want to point out. That's an online exclusive that ended up at this store. I don't know how, but it did. Um, and then some more lotions and some blooms and suede. All right, guys, we are back in the car. I think that Bath & Body Works definitely had better stuff than the other one. They had some like online exclusives and stuff from past seasons, so that was really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. Stay tuned because the haul will be going up tomorrow. So just go ahead and subscribe down below and turn on your post notifications so that way you can be notified when that video goes up. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you're finding some good deals this year's semi-annual sale as well. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.